Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. Now in this lecture, we have to see the next step of heat load calculation. In that we have to see how to create HVAC zone. How Revit will identify that which type of unit you are using means machine. Okay, suppose let's say if you want to use the AHU air handling unit with the help of that AHU you want to supply the condition air in each and every floor. Okay. So for that we have to create the HVAC zone. Suppose let's say here I am using only one AHU which we have to place above the roof. Okay. I am planning for my project. So with the help of one AHU only we have to supply the condition air in ground floor whatever space is there in first floor space and in second floor space. You can do like this also for separate you can select the separate AHU for uh, ground floor separate HU for first floor and second floor okay if you want to use the FCU ceiling suspended FCU okay you can use that also so here just I am planning that I am using the AHU with the help of that AHU which we have to place above the roof okay with the help of that AHU we need to supply the condition air in ground floor also first floor and second floor okay so for that we have to create the HVAC zone so see so for that hit on analyze tab spaces and zone panel here you will get the option of zone define HVAC zone with a project hit on that zone now here you can see in properties palette write down the name so I'm writing uh, suppose I'm using the same AHU na, which we have placed in roof floor so RF AHU I have written okay with the help of this AHU only we need to supply the condition air in all spaces okay either it is in ground floor or first floor or second floor you can use the separate HU also so give the name hit on apply now the name is written now you have to select the number of space line from the drawing how to select see like this hit on that in which space you want to give the condition and just select that space uh, line from the drawing like this okay so only the in this in ground floor only this five spaces I want to supply the condition so I have selected then hit on finish editing zone now when you take the cursor near to that see it is showing this all five room you are supplying condition air with the help of roof floor AHU okay now Revit will easily identify okay you are supplying condition air in this all five room with the help of AHU same way come to next floor first floor here also we have to create the HVAC zone so analyze tab spaces and zone panel hit on zone now here you can write, give the name so I'm using the same AHU to so ground floor AHU same name I have written here apply suppose if you are using a uh, separate AHU for each floor okay so as per that you have to write down AHU 1 AHU 2 but I want to use the same AHU so when you write down the same name here you will get one warning element have duplicate name values okay so I want that same name okay hit on that now select the number of space line from the drawing in which room you want to supply the condition air let's say section A1 section A2 section A3 then staff room also conference hall and section B2 section B1 here also we have one section B3 okay select it hit on finish edit mode now when you take the cursor see it is showing we are supplying condition air in this all room with the help of same roof floor AHU okay come to next floor now second floor here also we need to create the space uh, HVAC zone so analyze tab spaces and zone hit on zone from here just uh, in this properties palette write down the name same name I am writing AHU uh, sorry roof floor AHU so when you hit on apply now you will get the warning okay but I want same name so hit on okay select the space uh, number of space line from the drawing like this chemistry lab section C3 then seminar hall after that section C1 section C2 and then section C4 then finish edit mode now when you take the cursor see in this all room we are supplying conditioner with the help of AHU okay so in this way you have to create the HVAC zone I hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one